Even the mind that made gravity measurable longed for mysteries beyond measurement. Newton was not ashamed of this. He believed that nature had two books. A book of laws written in mathematics. A book of symbols written in metaphor. He wanted to read both. The biblical scholar who searched for the end of days. If Newton's alchemy surprises modern audiences, his theology shocks them. Because buried beneath the equations, beneath the laws of motion and the optics experiments, and the polished brilliance of the Principia, lies a truth that feels almost unbelievable. Newton wrote more about God, prophecy and scripture than he ever wrote about mathematics or physics, not just more, but vastly more. His papers on theology and biblical chronology fill millions of words. His scientific works, the ones we celebrate today, are a fraction of his lifelong output. For Newton, the universe was not divided into science and religion. That division came later, imposed by centuries that misunderstood him. Newton himself saw only one universe, governed by one truth, written in two languages, the language of number and the language of revelation.